I don't prefer taking administrative action. I'd rather see permanent fixes to the issue we face. Certainly that's true on immigration. I've made that clear multiple times. I would love nothing more than bipartisan legislation to pass the House, the Senate, land on my desk so I can sign it. That's true about immigration. That's true about the minimum wage. That's true about equal pay. There are a whole bunch of things where I would greatly prefer Congress actually do something. All right, so let, let, me, let me get this straight. The president is saying if Congress just passed all the things that he wants to do, he would prefer that. So if the Republicans in Congress just adopted his liberal Democratic agenda, and if they just agreed to pass all the things that he wants, that he would prefer that. Well, of course he'd prefer that. I mean, a a any president would prefer that. Yes, I, I prefer it if Congress just gave me everything I wanted. If they passed bills to do all the things I want to do. What president wouldn't prefer that? But what he's saying is if he doesn't get that, well, he's just going to do it anyway. He would prefer to act lawfully. He would prefer to follow the Constitution. But he if he doesn't but if he you know if he if he can't do it, if he can't get the bills that he wants passed through Congress the way they're supposed to be, well he's gonna do it anyway. He is going to try to enact unilaterally what the legislature fails to pass uh, constitutionally. I mean what I mean that's a pretty powerful admission. Yes, I would prefer to do it legally. But if I have to do it illegally, well, then I will. Yeah, I'd rather follow the law. But, you know, if, it, if, it, if it's uh, between following the law and getting what I want, well, the law be damned because I'm going to get what I want. Whether it's minimum wage, I'll try to go around Congress there. I'll make executive orders. And now when it comes to immigration, yes, I'd prefer to do it the legal way. But I don't care because, you know, it's my way or the highway. If I, if I can't do it the way we're supposed to do it, I'm just going to do it the way I can't. This is what he's admitting. This is what the president is saying. And what are the ramifications? He shouldn't be able to get away with with this. There should be more challenges to the president of the United States when he makes statements like that. Of course, he would prefer. Yes. Why doesn't Congress just pass an increase in minimum wage? Well, maybe Congress thinks it's a bad idea. Maybe that's why they don't want to pass it. And that is the system that we have. Because if, if you cannot convince Congress that what you want to do is a good idea, then you can't do it. You can't say, well, if I can't convince Congress to do what I want to do, I'm going to go around Congress and do it anyway. That is not the system of government that we're supposed to have. But again, Obama doesn't care about any of that. None of the laws, none of the rules apply to him. He wants to make it up as he goes along. He wants to be the dictator. He wants to be the king of America and Congress be damned. Uh, but here's another uh, comment that he makes where he challenges the Republicans, look, if you don't want me to just, you know, violate the Constitution, just do what I want anyway and then let me sign it, right? He's trying to, again, beat Congress up, theoretically, into passing the bills that they don't want to pass uh, so that he can sign them instead of having to get around the restraints on the presidential powers in the Constitution. Here, cut number 13. If House Republicans are really concerned about me taking too many executive actions. The best solution to that is passing bills. Pass a bill. Solve a problem. Don't just say no on something that everybody agrees needs to be done. All right, yes, pass a bill and solve a problem as if problems are solved by passing bills. You know how many bills we've passed in the last 50 years? I mean, we'd have no problems whatsoever if you can just solve a problem by passing a bill. The problem is when you pass a bill, you create a problem. In fact, you probably create many problems. But I like that challenge that he's throwing out to the republic. Just pass a bill. Yeah, if they actually passed a bill that would work, the president would veto it. If they actually passed a bill that would solve a problem, which would mean eliminating some government regulation that is causing the problem, if the if the uh, Republicans passed a bill, he talked about minimum wage. OK, so what if they decided to solve the problem by passing a bill to eliminate the minimum wage? That would solve a lot of problems. But the president wouldn't sign that bill.
See, the only bill that the president would sign would be the ones that there's no way that the House Republicans are going to want to pass. He's basically saying, look, if you House Republicans acted like liberal Democrats and passed some big government liberal bill, then I'd be happy to sign it. But why would they do that? And how and why would the president expect them to do that? They're representing their constituents. They're doing what they think is right. And what they think is right is uh, not what the president thinks is right. So why would he expect them to sign a bunch of bills that he would be eager to pass? Now, maybe he has to work with Congress and try to come up with some compromise. I mean, that's supposed to be what he what he what he does. Right. He's got to get the Congress to come up with a bill that has enough of what he thinks he wants. But he's got to give a little. Uh, But he's not willing to do that. Again, it's, you know, it's his way or the highway. He's not saying, let's come up with a compromise. You pass what I want, even if you think it's a bad idea. And if you don't pass what I want, I'm going to do what I want without you passing the legislation. That's really what it what it boils down to.